Can you tell us what you're looking for in a partner? Willing to murder children for me? Hey, let me just tell you this. I am the guy for you. I am constantly biting off the hands of babies. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I am constantly biting off the heads of babies. <laughs> Ew, there's no way two different people wrote this. Corey, Corey. I'm just Corey, a seven-year-old little girl. Yeah. <laughs> and the We're next number. We're playing a demon dating show. I taste like Leonardo DiCaprio. And I'm children. <laughs> Like an amazing tour. I'm <laughs> children. And it fully flew upwards and hit my collarbone. So you both were haunted as children. Yes. <laughs> and now both of your childhood demons live together. Yeah. Wait, no, no, no. Your grandmother's not a doctor. She's an assassin. What the? <laughs> f he's demonic and he's a mutant. This is my favorite <laughs> ghost story so far this whole tour. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Hey! Hey! Thank you all sincerely for being here. When we got here, we always set up the merch. We always set up the Haunted Museum. And it was rather windy upon setting up the Haunted Museum. And because of that, one of the Dybbuk boxes flew off the shelf, cracked wide open. What happened after that, bud? Uh, so... <laughs> We were, uh, you know, we were all chilling back there in a little circle doing the VIP meet and greet. During signing posters, my nose just started pouring blood. I wouldn't say pouring. No, oh, you, no. You like to exaggerate, you know what I mean? Uh, oh. It was like, it was like a dollop. You know a what I mean? dollop of blood? You ever, like, okay, have you ever seen like the Heinz my bottle? My hands were covered in blood. Well, that's because you put your hands underneath the blood fountain. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe had you not placed your hands underneath where you were bleeding from, they wouldn't have been covered in blood. You're that right. That was your choice. Thank you. Okay, have you guys ever like taken like a Heinz 57 bottle, the glass one, and you tap it, and you finally get it, it's just like a big like bloop, that but his nose. It was, it was, it wasn't like a steady, fl it wasn't like a nose bleed. It was just like a big blood bubble just popped in his brain. Thank you. You know what I mean? He had an aneurysm. Everyone needs to calm down. It wasn't that bad. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> Thank you, dog. Is that not a little weird? Okay, so he's trying to blame it on the Dybbuk box. Yes, I'm trying to okay. blame it on the Dybbuk he box. He was in the motorhome eating Oreos when it happened. That's, <laughs> that's, you can't blame me. You were, you were literally a thousand feet away when it happened. You're going to blame the fried Oreo on my nose bleed. Honestly? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of scared that it was the Dybbuk box. You know, do you guys think it was because of the Dybbuk box? Look at everyone agreeing okay, with but, me. But wow. they all, well, hold on. But they also don't know that every single Dybbuk box we have has already been opened by uh, witches that practitioner in that field. They had all been sealed with protection scrolls, with wax, with everything. Obviously not enough wax because it popped right the fuck open. But, you know, they have all been sealed properly. <laughs> yeah, and then it opened. So doesn't that kind of <laughs> like break what you're saying in a way? Like they, you know, protected it. They sealed them. Yep. But they didn't say, you know, when it if it opens again, it's there's nothing in there. Yeah, anymore. no one's ever opened a Dybbuk box twice besides us now, I guess. So. And now we know what happened. Where to go? Bud? Hey, where yeah. to go? Where to go? There you yeah. go. <laughs> Welcome to tour. <laughs> but I would like to point out that his first instinct after it opening, uh, when he had the chance, was to FaceTime his mother. Mm -hmm. He he immediately FaceTimed his mom. I did. I did. That is correct. And you casually was just like, "Hey, just checking in, making sure everything's okay with you." <laughs> I did. I wanted to make sure everything was okay back home. Like that's scary. And bro. I, to be honest, I had absolutely no idea he was talking to, I realized that was my first time ever seeing his mother. <laughs> I've known him for 10 years. For yeah. 10 years, I have never seen his mom. I know. And you guys instantly became best friends. Yeah. <laughs> Back there. Is where his mom was just like, Corey, it's nothing. It's just you're stressed. You're living in a motorhome. It's air conditioning. And I'm like, thank you for agreeing with me. Yeah. Yeah. Not the demon in a box. No. 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 But I do like that I met your mom and your teacher at the exact same time. Because I was homeschooled. Was I, was, homeschooled. I was homeschooled growing up. So I graduated at my kitchen table. I'm very proud of that. Uh, she's a very sweet lady. I had no idea that Aww. she had never uh, drank or yep. done drugs in her entire life. And neither have I. Yep. And I was like, this is why he likes me so much. Because I remind him of his mother. <laughs> 
I was like, this makes so much more sense. You and my mom are twinning. Dude, that is so And I'm cute. always like, it's okay, Corey, just calm down, honey. You're fine. I know, I know. I'm going to wake up one day <laughs> and you're going to dress up like her. Like you're going to have, you know, like the blonde curly hair. Just pulled back yep. in a nice little bun. You're going to be wearing glasses. Mm -hmm. You're like, come on, Corey. It's time to go to the kitchen table. <laughs> It's time to do school. That'd be a fun day, I think. No, it won it. Why? I hated school. Why not? Why wouldn't you go back to school? If I was your teacher, I'd be a fun teacher. Ex oh, well, no, you'd make me open Divic boxes. Yeah. That, that would be school. I do arts and crafts, and it's just like taking wax and just sealing up boxes. <laughs> like Color the Divic box red. Here's how you make an upside down cross. Is just oh. take a T and flip it over. Yeah, I'm okay. I'll pass on that. Okay. That's okay. So we thought of a kind of a fun game to play. We always like to start the shows a little bit more joyful, a little bit more fun. Yeah. And then we get into the point where we read the stories that members of the audience have submitted. And the reason why we do this as a live show and we don't do this from our office is because we want the ability to bring people on stage who have submitted those stories to learn more about them, to ask a little bit more questions, dig a little bit more deep into that situation, mm -hmm. and also show everyone that comes to these events that there are other people just like you in your same community, in your town, that have had similar experiences to you. But before that part, we like to have a little fun for ourselves. <laughs> Anyone ever played the game Red Flags? Has no one's ever played the game Red Flags? Perfect. What? Okay, the game is, is really, really simple. It's basically you get two positive attributes and then one really bad attribute, and you have to convince someone why they should date you over all the other people. So when you guys were coming in, we asked you all to write, like, demonic negative attributes. So we're going to just pull random people from the audience up on stage. Then we're going to pull these attributes and then we're going to try and pitch that person on why they should bring either one of us on a date. Yeah. It's like a demonic dating show. It's a demonic dating show, yes. This will make a lot more sense once it happens, but it's crazy that you have... It's such a fun game. Yeah, it is. It okay, is. Okay, so should we... Wind. It's oh, not the, the wind. Giving box. Yes, oh, it is the wind. The it is wind. the wind, Corey. Yeah. It, you can hear it in the mic. It's the fucking wind, Corey. Calm down. <laughs> no, you just captured an EVP. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there one seat dead center empty? Can some, Can you guys all please scoot? It's bugging me. My OCD is like, what the fuck is wrong here? <laughs> Your OCD this Yo, bad. If you want to know why it takes me so long to edit a video, that's why. <laughs> One little thing wrong, and I'm like, no, it's got to be fixed. And then you adjust the entire timeline to make it better. But what if they're sitting on a ghost now? Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel anything weird? No? <laughs> then you're good. <laughs> you're just going to hear later. <laughs> <laughs> They're on me. <laughs> They're on me. <laughs> All right. Should we start with the, uh, the green flags? Okay. All right. Let's, okay. let's pull someone up here first. Number 57. Who has 57 on the wristband? Come oh. on here. Come on up. Come on Come down. On up. Uh, Give it up, y'all. You understand the game at hand. I've played this before. Oh, you played this oh, before? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What was your name, by the way? Riley. Riley. Uh, no pressure. I'm going to be really offended. And ask you to leave if you do not choose me for your date. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. It looks okay. like I'm trying to do something really inappropriate right now. What are you doing? <laughs> Spent <What>? over. <laughs> Elton, get the mic away from your mouth. What, dude? Elton, close your mouth. I can reach it, though. <laughs> Yo, where did... I can, I can reach it, Corey. Where did the mic go? <laughs> My two green flags yes. are, you'll never have to work while you date me. Love that for you. Um... <laughs> My second green flag is I have a time travel machine. Mm. That's really, you know, we can go That's to Paris. Wait, you can do that with a plane, dude. <laughs> That's <laughs> just a plane. No, but we can go to Paris like way back. Like, like, like 1960s Like Paris. 2012. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, or okay, I'll go further back. 2011 Paris. Wow, wow dude. Yeah, that's, that's You're wild. living on the edge, dude. That's pretty dude. rad. I know, but my red flag... <laughs> <laughs> is I'm always standing over you watching you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and, okay. Wait, that's not even demonic. I feel like that's just a normal weird dude on Tinder. <laughs> that's <laughs> that might just be a thing. That's Tinder gone wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have different uh, sleep schedules, I feel like. You okay. Know. I am the hot barista that owns an adorable coffee shop Ooh. with a that's private nice. island in the Bahamas. That murders all children he sees and makes you vlog it. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So listen, listen. You never have to work again, okay? Because we're always time traveling. Like instead of going to, you know, your daily job when like rent's due, we're just going to time travel back before rent was due over and over and over again. So we never have to pay any bills. It's a great time. But I do stand over you and watch you while you sleep. But I'm doing it to make sure that you're safe. You know, because time traveling can be dangerous. But here's the thing. He loves watching you sleep so much that he only time travels to keep watching you sleep. <laughs> and, you, and you never wake up. You You're never an- wake up. You're just constantly being watched in your sleep for eternity. It's an infinite loop of you but, just sleeping. But here's the thing. You're in a bed in Paris 2011. Yep. You know what I mean? But just constantly sleeping, sleeping, yep. and sleeping. Okay. Meanwhile, here I am. One, I'm hot, okay? Yeah, you are. I'm hot, and I own an adorable coffee shop, so I'm going to give you, like, the best, you know what I mean, cappuccino that you could ever ask for, just kind of liven you up for the day, hand you a camera, and go murder some kids. You know what I mean? But then, like, you're all stressed out after you murdered a couple babies, and you're like, well, let's go to the private island of the Bahamas, and we'll just, like, vacation. But are we getting caught since we're vlogging it? It's like a family vlog, you know what I mean? Like something we can show our kids. (laughs) It's it's a camcorder. (laughs) Yeah, it's a 1999 camcorder. No, it's my VHS camera from the Warrens. We time travel to get the camera. (laughs) What'd you say? So we time travel to get the camera to vlog murdering kids. Oh, Oh, wait, are we combining? Are we trying? Wait, you trying to do something freaky? (laughs) Oh shit! (laughs) Don't talk like that, Elton. Yo, we can just murder the same children over and over and over and over again. (laughs) This is demonic, dude. This isn't meant to... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't write this. Don't blame me. <laughs> okay, what who are you leaning towards the most right now? I think Corey. Why? Wait, why? The, ti- the time nice... travel. Just for time travel? For time Absolutely. travel. But he controls the time travel. That do- but so... so where would you time where would you time travel to? Uh any era where I can meet Michael Jackson. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, any air okay. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. If you don't want me, I'm gonna steal his time machine and I murder all children that I see. I will go back in time and execute you. Oh my Oh my god, that's not demonic the rules. dating game. It is the demonic dating that's game. That's not the rules. Who said you can steal <laughs> my time travel machine? <laughs> Who said that? What are you gonna do to stop me? Watch time me. travel. You're just gonna watch me. <laughs> Every time you're coming to like kill me or whatever, I'm gonna time travel. Meanwhile, yeah. I'm sleeping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you never have to go through that trauma. Thank you exactly. so much. Thank you. Because I care. That's so nice. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't think I had a chance in this situation. <laughs> no. I don't think. A murder, I like it says not murders like one child a day, murders all children he sees. <laughs> All of them. Wow. All of the kids. <laughs> well, think about this. If you never left your room, you wouldn't murder any children. That's right. It's so murder all you children. In your room. Ooh, I'm like the opposite of that X-Men who wears the glasses and when he takes them off, he shoots laser beams. He just gotta like keep really dark shades on me so I can't see anything. Oh, we'll put a blindfold on you. Yeah. And then yeah. you're just a hot barista dude. <laughs> <laughs> The blindfolded barista. I'm just, I'm, just a, yeah, I'm just a hot barista with too big of a headband. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. With a private island of the Bahamas that I yeah. can't get to. I like that a lot more. Hey, did Corey win? Yeah, Corey won. What if I only Thank murdered like you. every other child I saw? No. Damn it. That's just, not what it says. It says time I know. Travel. I can time travel to 2011 Paris, dude. <laughs> Nothing is gonna beat that. Whatever. All right, Corey wins one round. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we're gonna do another Thank random you. number generator. <laughs> Here's one point you didn't bring out. You could have been a better person. You could have time traveled with me, brought me to baby Hitler. Oh. So now I'm the fucked up one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. number 51. You are next up, please. Come on up. You can either hop up or there's a stair, a little step on the other way. Parkour. 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 What is your name, by the way? Nina. Nina? Yeah. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna win this round because this isn't very demonic. This is just something casual. Here's what I am, Nina. I am an Olympic gold medalist, and in parentheses, I'm a hottie. Two times in a row. Two wow. times in a row. Wow. And I'm a Billboard charting artist, but I have death breath. <laughs> Basically, just one. really bad halitosis, like. That's not that bad. Yeah, I think I'm winning this round. It, it depends. It depends how bad your breath is, though. Like death, death breath. Death breath, as in like every, I kill you every time I breathe on you. No, like just your breath smells like death. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty bad. No, it's not. It's okay. <laughs> Can you imagine giving a kiss. I'm an Olympic gold medalist and a Billboard charting artist. Okay. 
Okay. I am literally Michael Phelps and Lil Wayne combined. <laughs> I am both of them. 15-time gold medalist, 15-time charting artist. Okay, well, uh, I might surprise you here. Okay. Because I'm actually a ninja that can complete any mission that you want. Ooh, that's Anything. Really good. Uh, all I can do is hit a vault <laughs> and, and swim the butterfly. <laughs> I also own a very successful tech startup. Okay. Tax? Tech, 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 technology, tech startup, tech startup, <laughs> but my red flag, a taxidermy startup. <laughs> I also own a taxidermy startup. That would be the demonic one. That would be the red flag. <laughs> yes. That would be. However, I purposely always stay possessed by demons and refuse to get help. <laughs> so me. So Elton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm a ninja. I own a tech startup and I'm Elton. So no matter what, I win, I guess. <laughs> I win no matter what in this situation. Okay, what are you what are you thinking? What yeah, how how are you feeling right now? How do you feel? Right now, you know I'm shredded, you know I'm hot, you know I make great music, and all I I just don't brush my teeth. Yeah. You but, know what I mean? But I'm a ninja. I'm a genius ninja. A genius ninja. I own a tech startup. <laughs> It didn't say successful. It did. It said. It said. Oh, it did. A yes. successful tech startup. Okay. It says a successful okay. tech startup. Okay. So you're young but, Musk. But I'm 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 constantly possessed, and I never want to get help. Which means he's probably always trying to destroy you and oh. eat your soul. Well, like, what if you befriend the demon? What if you befriend the demon? Yeah. Well, you yeah. would be dating him. Exactly. So. So, so maybe I won't be evil. You probably yeah. have to make sacrifices constantly to him to make sure. He doesn't harm you at all. Are they children? No. <laughs> well, no. I, ha I, have a f I have a friend I can call up, <laughs> and we can get you some if you want. <laughs> I'd prefer that. You would prefer what? Children. Oh, you want children. Oh, you prefer? You prefer wait, you'd prefer to sacrifice children? <laughs> I don't like kids. You oh, doesn't like kids. I like how she's smiling. I don't like kids. <laughs> <laughs> Why, do, why does children being murdered keep getting brought up? <laughs> because we're at a paranormal we're, podcast and everyone in here is probably a little, like, demonic. You, okay. you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, okay. I promise, you know, even though I'm constantly possessed, like, if we ever do any rituals or anything, and if we have to sacrifice an animal or something for the ritual, I'll make sure that's an animal that's already dead. Like a okay. hamburger but she, but or she a chicken doesn't, nugget. But, but she doesn't like kids. So look, we can go on a nice little date to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> just have me breathe across everyone. You know what I mean? And there you go. You're yeah. a little bit happier. This world's a bit of a better place for you. Okay. What are you thinking? I can't get past the bad breath. Like, <laughs> See? I, I knew this what? would be an issue. I'll wear a mask. I did it for two years during COVID. I can do how it again. Gonna, how are you going to kiss or anything else? See? We can do other things. I don't know. No. Yeah, really. I don't know. No. <laughs> Kissing first. <laughs> so it means something. Is he going to win again? I think so. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go. I, I'm just a little possessed. That's just it. a little so possessed. I'm just a little possessed. A I little literally bit. pulled death breath and I was like, cool, I, this is in the bag. <laughs> Dude, I'm a ninja. Oh my God. Who's not going to want to date a ninja? And you look like one with the headband. Thank you. You're welcome. See? Stop complimenting him. <laughs> the, game, the game's over. The game is over at this point. <laughs> That's 2-0. <-0. sighs> Nina, thank you, but no thank you. Oh. <laughs> well, I still love you, Elton. Well, thank Aww. you. Aww. You know, please stay away from children. <laughs> <laughs> they said Team Corey. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> just, just you're used to it. Just, uh, we're gonna put you on a watch list to make sure you don't get within a hundred yards of any schools. <laughs> so you don't like kids, apparently. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> she said it, not me. <laughs> yeah, you did bring that up. Stop you blaming that everything that on me. Yeah. yeah, you're right. But thank you. Right. Thank, thank, you. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Give it up, y'all. Give it up. Thank you. Do you like kids? Not oh, really, God. she said. Not really. Why does Thank everyone you. hate kids? Thank you. What, wait, what was your name? Daisy. Everyone say, nice to meet you, Daisy. Nice to meet you, Daisy. <laughs> See, that makes it sweet. Okay, you want me to go first? <laughs> this is a fucking good one. That's hilarious. I know I said this last time, but if I don't win this round, the game's rigged and everyone just loves you more. This is absolute <laughs> crap if I don't win this next round. Well, then win it, dude. All right, first off, Daisy... Um, I believe you are the most attractive person that I have ever seen. And I work for the Federal Reserve and can print money whenever I want. Damn. All right. And 
Here's the thing. Small birth defect. It'd be rude of you to judge me for this. I have three nipples and they're all shaped like the number six. <laughs> wow. If you don't pick me, it's offensive. <laughs> I think I'd pick you just because of the nipples. <laughs> well, I'm a NASCAR driver. Wow. Okay. Okay. Pretty cool. I also own your favorite sports team. Do you watch sports? Do I look like I watch sports? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and NASCAR is a sport. She don't give a shit about you right now. Stop. Okay, but... <laughs> is NASCAR a sport? Yeah. All right. NASCAR is a sport. Okay. Carry on. However, <laughs> I have a twin and we constantly dress up as the twins from The Shining. You know, I've done that before for Halloween. You did? I was on ESPN Sports Center. <laughs> you, were, you and Ginger. Yeah, we went to a Clippers game on Halloween and we were literally courtside and we were just the Shining twins staring at everyone playing. <laughs> <laughs> it literally, we made ESPN top 10 that night. You did. Okay. So, I think, is he's already lost, right? No. Think about it. I'm a NASCAR driver. So that means I'm a good driver. I'm a safe no, driver. No, you're only good what? at making left turns. <laughs> you're only... <laughs> Well, I also own your favorite sports team. Which she doesn't have, so you don't own anything. You literally don't own anything. But I have a twin, so there's two of me, uh -huh. and we dress up like the twins from The Shining, which is really cool because they have pretty dresses, <laughs> right? And, you know, maybe if you wear a dress one day, all three of us could match or something, you know? No, fuck. I lost... <laughs> I lost this round. I definitely lost this round. I wanted so badly. Why? <laughs> Why? Let me have something nice in my life. Go on. Okay. Oh, no, I don't need to. I think I won. I th Lily, she's the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my entire life. I can make money whenever I want, and so what? I have three nipples you can suck on. That's it. That's it. If you get bored with left or right, you got middle waiting for you. No matter what you want, I'm ready. But isn't isn't the three nipples, you know, and like they're shaped like sixes? I mean, are they pierced? Are they pierced? They can if you want them to be. <laughs> I have to go with Elton. Yeah! I finally got a win! I'm so sorry. Okay, what do it's you want fine. them to be pierced with? What kind of piercings do you want my three nipples to have? To be something like bars, something demonic, I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Maybe hooks. Hooks. Oh. You went from bars to maybe like hooks and <laughs> and, and fishing bait and tackle. <laughs> Just want to throw you in the water and see what you bring out. I don't fish. Of course not. It's a sport. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Assuming we can get an unbiased person up here, let's do first to three. First to three? First to three. See if you get the next round, you win. But let's, let's make it fair. You okay. know what I mean? Don't just pick Corey because it's Corey. All They're right. not. I'm they want to go to Paris. Uh, what's your name, by the way? I'm Emily. Emily. Thank you. Emily. Round of applause doing? for Emily. Yeah. Oh, dude. I, okay, I'm winning. Is that a nice thing? Is that fair? I feel like that's a nice thing. Mm. Yeah, give me another one. Uh, this is like... That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's not... That's yeah, a that's green fairly too. nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm going to lose. Damn it. All right, here we go. You want to go first? I already know I lost based yeah. on the last rounds. I can, I can go first. Okay. So, <laughs> for starters... I literally have the best hair ever. Corey, I already have the best Corey, hair. Corey, Corey. Wow. <laughs> that's a, that's a. <laughs> what the? All right, carry on. Okay, I'll, I'll continue. I have the best hair ever. Okay. Okay. I mean, it may not look that good right now, mm -hmm. but I promise. I think it looks pretty good. Thank you. Of course. See? Thank you. <laughs> I also, I'm not trying to brag, but mm -hmm. I do have to say one time. I made out with Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> oh and, my god. Um, rumor has it when you Is kiss me. He a good me, kisser? Yeah, well, he's a good kisser. Okay. But I've been told that when you kiss me, you can still taste his lips. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Full discretion, I wrote that green flag. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote that? That's a good one. That's, That's a good green flag. That is a really good one. <laughs> That's a good one. However, I wear too many crosses. Okay, now this is actually a fact. <laughs> I'm wearing like six crosses right now. Um, every time I hear a scary sound, mm -hmm. I blame it on the house. Like so, the Dybbuk box? Yeah, yeah. So okay. like if I ever like, you know, if there's a ghost like yelling or we see like a ghost run by, I am just constantly like, no, it's nothing. It's just the house. Oh. 
you know, even though you're freaking out and you're like, no, the shadow man's right there. Oh, so you don't I'm like, me. no, Wait, that's the house. So this is ha this is half you, half me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hybrid. Yeah, this is a hybrid. This is us as a Tesla. <laughs> Teslas aren't hybrids. They should be because hybrid sounds Prius. like it'd be a Tesla. No, we're a Prius. You just described us as a Prius. Ooh. Ooh. That's even cooler. We put the us in Prius. <gasps> Aww. Aww. Keep reading. Okay. <laughs> but I also do not believe in ghosts at all. Oh. Interesting. So even though we're living in a haunted house and we constantly see and hear ghosts, I that don't, kind of makes sense, I don't believe in them. I'm just going to be blunt. Okay. I don't need to beat around the bush. Okay. I'm telling you right now. I like honesty. We're going to have the best sex ever. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Corey. Okay. It was nice okay. though I knew. <laughs> Here's the other thing. Okay. Here's the other thing. That? Who Here's the other thing? That? I love pussy. Oh. Wait, same. Okay. Uh, same. I, I took a liberty on that one. I took a liberty. It says love cats. Oh. Well, it says love cats, but, um, but I always smell of rotting flesh. Rotting flesh, you say? <laughs> Indeed. Wow. But here's the thing. Kind of here's the thing. Best sex ever. But is it worth? I'll the plug your nose the whole time. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you almost sell me on that, Corey. Can you sell me or Elton? Because Elton's Listen, winning oh, right look, now. Listen, I don't Listen. need to sell you. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be a ghost show. <laughs> No. <laughs> Who wrote these questions? Raise their hand right now. Who wrote these? I'm going to applaud you. <laughs> <laughs> Does everyone here smell like rotting flesh? I'm confused. <laughs> Have you seen the water? Have I seen True. the water? Oh, so I win, right? <laughs> listen, Corey, Corey, listen, come on, Corey, give listen, it your best shot. Listen. Give it your best shot. I believe in you. I, Don't. I literally taste like Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Think about it. Mm -hmm. How does that make you but feel? But you don't believe me. See, the problem is, is that you don't believe me. And I need someone who's going to believe me. Elton, you win. I win, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the two, two times! Wow. <laughs> wow. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's it's fine. Thank you so much. Thank right, you. We're going down to the wire here. Wow. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> And the We're next playing number. a demon dating show. <laughs> I taste like Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> and, and, and I murder children. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> They're having like an amazing tour. I murder children. <laughs> Oh, come on up. Oh, get oh we up have a here. dude. Huh? He's good. You'll open up. Sit How down. you doing? How you doing? Is that your mom or who is that? That's my lady. Oh, that's your Ooh. girlfriend. What? The way, I don't know, the way you're speaking for him makes me feel like you're a mother. You know what I mean? You're like, <laughs> he'll open up. He'll be great. He'll, be do, he'll do fine. <laughs> okay. Your girlfriend says you'll open up. Correct. Okay, good. Wow, the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> no matter who wins, one of us is very lucky. Are they still back there on that boat? <laughs> <laughs> Ew, there's no way two different people wrote this. No. I am dead right now. Okay, first of all, uh, beforehand, can you tell us what you're looking for in a partner? Uh, commitment, uh, loyalty, willing to murder children for me. Hey, let me just tell you this. I am the guy for you. You know why? First off, one, your parents, uh, your parents, they love me. They love me so much. Uh, I live in a castle and I am constantly biting off the hands of babies. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I am constantly biting off the heads of babies. I read that wrong, but we can start with the hands if you want an appetizer. Wow. I'm just saying, I think I might be the guy for you. Okay. Well, uh. I don't want to blow your really mind. really again? I don't want to blow your mind. Do you but, want uh, a different one that's the exact? No. No, this is good. <laughs> I'm not trying to brag, but I own a successful tech startup. <laughs> not trying to brag. <laughs> I'm also, uh, I, I never offend anyone. I'm just, you know, I'm a really good guy. <laughs> I never offend anyone, but. What's that red flag? My red flag is, um. I'm always playing the Ouija board in the garage, super drunk. <laughs> like I just, every single night, I'm just getting hammered and playing the Ouija board. But you can ignore me, you know, just lock the door, 
leave me in there for a couple hours and then, you know, I can come back and not offend anyone. I already gave you what you want. We obviously <laughs> both don't like children. You know what I mean? And I have a castle and your parents love me. What better than that? What who uh, what song I own want to a make tech happy? startup though. How cool is that? <laughs> But, We've but heard that a apparently castle? a lot of people own tech startups now, so is it really that? <laughs> yeah, it is. But do you own a castle, Corey? I don't own a castle, but I am an alcoholic. <laughs> 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 I think that's just as cool as owning a castle. Well, now okay. we know why you don't own one. That's where all your money went to alcohol. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, how drunk are we talking, though, with the Ouija bar? Are we talking like plaster, could barely stand, or are we just talking like incoherent talk and you're just mumbling? Oh, I'm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. Like, I don't remember shit. <laughs> that also means he's just constantly opening up portals and letting whatever he wants into your house. You can't stop it. He's just like, eh, come on in, sweetheart. Come on. <laughs> we all know Ouija boards aren't bad. <laughs> oh, now you want to change your stance on it, huh? Okay, Ouija boards are bad. So now you, now you also know he's a liar and a manipulator. No, no I never offend anyone. <laughs> oh, that's why I lie. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> okay, what are you thinking, sweetie? All right, as much as I like you, Corey, I'm I'm gonna have to go with Al. He's got a yes! castle. Yes! Three straight! Three straight to come back! Let's go! Fine, fine. I'm so I, I really like, but like a castle, you mm -hmm. know, willing to murder children for me. <laughs> no, no, no. With you, honey. We're doing with this you. together. We're doing this together. <laughs> you and I. Sorry, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> this is a game. You can't call his girlfriend a bitch. <laughs> unless, unless, well, how did you say, how did you say bitch? I said bitch. Okay, then you can say that. <laughs> you can say it that way. That way's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for the Thank come you. behind victory. I love it. Yeah, give a round it up, y'all. Round of applause. <laughs> Do you want, like, another round or should. <laughs> All right, so best, uh, first to five. Best be of be 20. No, no, best. <laughs> Best of 666. <laughs> all right, we'll um, all right, we'll do a best of. We'll do the Stanley. We'll do the Stanley Cup version. We'll do best of seven. Okay. All right. Okay. First one to four. So you now have a chance. Okay. You did start off two and zero, oh, and I came back with three straight. I thought you were gonna stop there. <laughs> <laughs> you just I came. <laughs> I was like, is everything okay? <laughs> I saved that for the best sex ever. Oh yeah. And what is your name? Miranda. First off, take out the demonic element of things. What are you looking for in a partner? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I don't know. Do you currently have I'm, one? I'm open. So You're open? Yeah. Mm. Okay, you don't currently have one? No. Okay, what's your type? I don't know. <laughs> oh! Well, you're going to find out if it's one of us tonight. <laughs> okay. You, you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. So this is pretty neat. I'm actually my job. I'm a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> I've never watched Pokemon. I was a Yu-Gi-Oh guy, so I can't think of any jokes. I'm gonna go to the next one. <laughs> um, I also have a robot butler. Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. You realize you had Pokemon and you could have been like, Miranda, I choose you. <laughs> Listen, Miranda, I choose you. <laughs> However, I constantly vomit acid on you every time I see a child. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's not that bad. Acid's not that bad. That's not that bad. <laughs> you're you're going to get burned if you ever yeah. have a, a, a child together, assuming you want a long-term relationship. <laughs> every time he cradles a baby, <laughs> all over it. But I have a robot butler. So think about that, okay? The robot butler can clean all of your uh, third-degree burns yeah. yep. that you get from the acid constantly being vomited on you. Yep, exactly. Meanwhile, here I am. I cook all of your favorite foods to perfection. I give billions of dollars to your favorite charity. And I am the white lady, uh, but the Karen kind. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so look. I'm a ghost that can find the manager, even in his dreams, even in his sleep, no matter what. <laughs> the white lady, but the carrot kind. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so funny to me. Oh, uh, so what? What do you? What are you thinking? You know, can we get past the acid? <laughs> Dude, I lost for bad breath. If you win for acid vomit. Well, like you, I also don't know anything about Pokemon. So. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. This look is not at happening. Us. This is not happening. So I'm a Pokemon trainer, but I always spend time with you because I don't care about them. Yeah. I don't even train them. 
But you're a Pokemon trainer. That's my job. Doesn't mean I have to do it. Have you, have you, what? I don't have to do it. I don't care about Pokemon. You have to keep an eye on Pikachu. He will burn everything down. No. Oh, oh, I, my robot butler trains them. See, that way we can always spend time together. And then as long as we don't go to like Walmart and like see a little kid or something, <laughs> I'm not going to throw up acid on you. Do you want kids one day? No. Fuck. <laughs> Look at I that. I also don't like kids. You don't like- No one no. here likes kids? Okay. Match made in heaven. But look, again, I cook all of your favorite foods and I get- What's your favorite charity? I, I know who- I know it's not Make-A-Wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's, not, it's not the Boys and Girls Club of America, I know that. What's your favorite charity? I don't know. I guess the Wildlife Charity. Aww. Okay, so billions of dollars to the Wildlife Charity. Cooking all of your favorite foods to, protect, uh, mm -hmm. to, to perfection. And I'm the White Lady. I'm the white lady, but but it, you're a Karen. But I'm constantly pulling out my phone, yelling, "I'm filming you! I'm filming you!" Wow. Please. Think about how many giraffes you're gonna make rich. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go with you. Yeah! Yeah! I got a robot butler. <sighs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank and you. we're literally going down to a best of seven. Let's go. This is Stanley Cup level. Demonic dating game yeah. competition. This is cute. What's your name? Abby. Okay, Abby, same same thing. What are you looking for in a partner? I don't know. You don't know? That's good. That's a good start. Uh, if you had to date any celebrity, who would it be? Melanie Martinez. Melanie oh. Martinez? Oh. Okay. okay. Well, not trying to brag, but when I was younger, I found the golden ticket and I owned the Willy Wonka factory. <laughs> So we can go there whenever we want. So you're okay? Mr. Beast. I'm Mr. Beast. Okay, you're Jimmy. You're Jimmy. Got it. I, <laughs> I'm Mr. Yeah, I'll change that. I'm Mr. Beast. Every, okay. Every time I spank you, a hundred, a thousand dollars appears in your bank account. Think about that. Okay. Think. Okay. Yeah. Um. Every I don't time know how old you are to ask any follow-up oh, questions wait. right now, Let so me I'm like really hesitant. Every time I give you a high five, there you go, a thousand dollars. Every time I spank your hand with my hand, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. that counts as spanking. I will right, we'll change it. Okay. To that. However, <laughs> I every day the only thing that I wear is the Annabelle dress, and I constantly act like a seven-year-old girl. <laughs> It's not that bad. I don't like kids. <laughs> can you can you read it all? Can you read it all in one fluid motion again? When I was younger, found the golden ticket. I own the chocolate factory. That's really cool. We can go hop on that little boat and we can drink hot chocolate together. We can go get marshmallows and we can make s'mores and have romantic dates, right? Also, every time we high five, you get a thousand bucks. Just that we could literally spend three hours a day high fiving and we will be the richest people in the world. That's incredible. However, I constantly act like a seven year old girl and I only wear the Annabelle dress. Is that okay with you? See, I hate kids. Uh, <laughs> there is a theme among this audience, which is very alarming, I guess. But I love Annabelle. So, yeah. Mm. But I act like a kid. But you act like a kid. So, like, yeah. like, he just wears the dress. Yeah. Mm and has to act like the seven-year-old uh, demon that pretended to be the seven-year-old girl, right, in Annabelle. But we could make 90 grand every time we play pat a cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, because you it, you literally were like, I own a chocolate bag, you're like, Mr. Beast, high-fiving for $1,000 sounds like a Mr. Beast thing. <laughs> that video's coming out tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mean, meanwhile, you can, you can ruminate upon this idea, um, but I give you massages whenever you want, anytime, also, I don't know if there's a green flag or a red flag, <laughs> but I will be physically 18 years old forever. <laughs> That's immature. <laughs> See, not mentally, physically. Oh, oh. Uh, and then, here's the only other thing. It's kind of weird. Everyone has like their bedtime routine. Some people, you know, drink some water. Some people read a book. They watch their favorite show. I drink a nightly glass of warm blood before bed. <laughs> Are you a vampire? Nope. No, nope. Just a just a nightly glass of warm blood before bl bed. Just okay. A, a, <laughs> okay. I mean? Yeah. So yeah, massages That's whenever you want. I'm physically 18 forever, and I drink one glass of blood. Yours isn't you that know? bad. There's iron in it. There's iron. It's nutrition. Okay. So I hate you, massages. You hate massages? Yes. Well, I only give them to you when you want them. So guess okay. what? 
Now we're both happy. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. And I'm physically 18 forever. I'm always youthful, always energized. Even when you're old, you know what I mean? I can carry you up and down the stairs. I'm ready to go. I have my GED. Like, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm, I'm ready for you. Okay. But we can make a million dollars a day just by no, high No, no, no. Remember, fighting. you would make a million dollars. It appears in your account. Would you share it with me? Maybe. Even if I got 20%, I'm still down. With, with that, that much money, you could get him therapy so he doesn't act like a seven-year-old girl anymore. I could. I definitely Wait, could. why am I helping you? No, 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 yes. no. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yes, continue, Elton. <laughs> what am I doing? Yes, yes. Okay, who are you leaning towards more right now? Corey. <laughs> is that, so I win. Is that your final answer? Is that your final? Yes! Yeah, Corey, 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 Corey. Yeah, yeah. I'm just a seven-year-old little girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, as your prize for winning, uh, Ginger, would you mind taking the dress off of Annabelle and we're going to have him wear it for the rest of the show? <laughs> <laughs> My calf would fit in that. That's it. Uh, so again, these are stories that have been submitted uh, by people that are here tonight. And then after the story is read, we will ask you to join us on stage so we can get uh, a little bit more information from you about it. Um, it's meant to be sincere, but we're also, fair warning, we're going to look for jokes and like have some fun with it too. That's just the nature of how we do things. So, so uh, this story, it's a little bit shorter, but I definitely have a lot of questions about it. And then when they come on stage, like it kind of goes into a theory that we've been talking about a lot recently. So I'm, I'm interested about this conversation we're going to have. I've always believed in the paranormal ever since I was a little girl. However, when I was in middle school, about 13 years old, I was home alone sick from school watching a movie in the living room. I was watching The Blair Witch Project, and when the Cabin in the Woods scene came on the TV, it turned off and on three times by itself. The only way to turn the TV on or off is to tell Alexa to do so. This made me very creeped out to this day, and I've also been succumbed to night terrors to the point where I would wake up screaming and see a figure standing in my doorway of my bedroom. This would usually happen around the time of 12 to 3 a.m. Also, when I was 13, my dog passed away due to cancer and I used to hear her paws walking up and down my hallway next to my bedroom. She sadly doesn't do that anymore, but I knew she was with me when she passed. Whose story is that? The name's cut out. Oh, I believe. No, no. I think I believe it was Catherine. Was this Catherine's story? Get up here, Catherine. Is that right? All right, one more time. Give it up for Catherine, y'all. Katie, give it up for Katie. Katie. <laughs> she changes it again. Some people call me Cat. Give it up for Cat. Yeah. <laughs> it's Katie. So tell tell me first. Tell me more about that night. What do, what do you think was the reason the TV kept turning on and off? I'm honestly not sure why. I usually don't watch scary movies by myself as it is. Yeah. I was honestly just staying home because I had a sore throat and the night before I was throwing up. So that day when I was home alone, it was also storming. Yeah. So it was pretty downcast and it was pretty dark outside as it is. But did you ever do anything in that house? Like, was it an old house? Oh, no. I'll be, I'll be like murdered by my own mom if I did any of that stuff in my house. So you've never you've never done a Ouija board? You've never like tried to talk to spirits in your house because you thought it was haunted? No, the same how your mom brought you into the world. Yeah. She'll throw me to like another dimension and kill me in that dimension. If you played with a Ouija board? Yeah. Your mom okay. sounds like a very lovely person. Oh, she's awesome. I love her. It's just she grew up down south, so And that's where she wants to send you. <laughs> <laughs> My dad did play with a Ouija board in a hospital, though. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, continue. What is the diagnosis? He was a, I need to figure out what medication to give them. Uh, he was a pharmacist in the hospital. Okay. okay. But um, this was way before I was born, by the way. Okay. And he decided with a co couple of co-workers to play it. And um, after he left that hospital and worked at a drugstore... Other stuff happened to him at that drugstore. Can I can I just point out that your father worked at a hospital, 
and then was demoted to a drugstore. Oh, no, he left the hospital because my parents moved to Seattle. It had nothing to do with him playing the Ouija board while oh, working. Oh, no, my, my dad's just stupid in general. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Hey, dad. Him and I, Shout him out and to I, dad. Him and I do a lot of stupid stuff. I actually found a... Uh, uh, like a Halloween director decoration, like the zombie from Hocus Pocus. Yeah. I found his head in a Halloween store. I sent a picture to my dad. He's like, I love it. Get it. We need it in our house. Sounds like a good dad. Yeah, that doesn't sound stupid at all. That just yeah. sounds like a loving parent. Yeah, sounds like he wants some I decoration. I think you mean, though. I sent it to my mom, too. And she's like, if you bring that into my house, I'm going to slap you and your father. Oh. I would have brought it in. just to, That would have been a fun moment. See? I even said it to my dad. Like, I would tell him and be like, we need this in our house. Okay, all right. I was like think, saying that to my dad. Okay, so you had you were vomiting the night before. You had a storm the other night, and now your TV's turning on and off. Now, was the TV... I have to ask this. Did you have power outages in the house due to the storm? No. Okay, just the TV and only the TV. Only the TV. No lights. None... Like, my TV in my room worked perfectly fine. Everything else in the house worked perfectly fine. It was just the living room TV. Now, uh, another question. I'm curious to know this. When you watched the Blair Witch movie... Did you think it was real? The Blair Witch? Um, you were watching, yeah. Did you think it was real when you were watching it? I watched it um, multiple times before with my family. Okay. I, oh, so this is like a movie you just like to watch for fun. Yeah, but the thing that made me freak out the most when I was watching it that night, well, that day actually, mm -hmm. was um, my cat was also, also acting super weird. Your cat was? Yeah. She always wants to be in my room. And she has like a certain meow that tells me that she wants to be in my room. She just like started hissing at my door, my bedroom door, and like wouldn't go in my room for the night I was throwing up and um, the day I watched the movie. Do you think there is a chance that the day that happened or the day before that happened, your dad was playing the Ouija board at the drugstore? Do you think it could have possibly followed your dad to the house? No, because um, he burned the Ouija board Oh, and made sure that he didn't have anything attached to him. Yeah. And if there was a Ouija board in the house, I would know and I would seek it out. I know almost every inch of my house. Okay. Well, I think your dad's haunted. I'm, I'm, I th I'm just going to put it out there. I just, I have a It'll feeling. explain a lot of things that happened in my childhood. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I had a very weird childhood. One example, please. Oh, no, not paranormal weird. Just like... No, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> you have my attention. I'm listening. Um, I was just chatting on the phone with my friend one day. My dad had to go outside to clean the gutters. Mm -hmm. And... um, Typical day. He decided to also have his headphones in. And he was blasted music. He didn't realize that he knocked down the ladder until he was ready to go down. So he almost fell off the ladder and he had to call me after he climbed back up on the roof. Wait, but that just, that's not weird. It kind of goes along with you saying you have a dumb just, dad. Just wait, just wait. Okay, just wait. okay, okay. So he called me after I got off the phone with my friend. And um, I came outside and I just see him sitting on the roof. And apparently he had a weird like monkey hat on. Okay. Like it was like okay. a full stuff animal that kind of had like typical well, uh, safety helmet. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, kind yes. of. Me being me, I went inside to get my phone instead of helping him, and I come outside. He's just doing like a dance oh. on the roof while waiting for me with his headphones in and stuff. Sounds like you guys have a fun dad. Yeah, he sounds know. pretty fun. He likes a little monkey dance, summon some demons on a roof with a ladder knocked over. Honestly, kind of sounds like me in a few years from now. So. Yeah. Hey, you seem like you have a chill dad. I don't know. So yeah. You might owe your dad an apology for calling him a d dipshit earlier. <laughs> My dad's fucking stupid. He did a dance on a roof with a monkey hat. By the way, that voice just made me realize I never dressed why I'm wearing a fucking cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> no. My hat got sat on and got crushed and I bought this at a gas station. So this is my hat for tonight. <laughs> my hat my dad is stupid. He's weird and I love him no matter what Aww. he does. Okay, but 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 <laughs> <laughs> I know how it sounds. I know how it sounds, okay? Okay, but but going back to the question I asked. I'm very curious to know. You'd watched the movie numerous times. When you watched the Blair Witch Project, did you think it was real when you watched that movie? Um the first time, yes. The other times, no. Oh, okay. Because I did research on it after the first time. Yeah, that was like probably the best marketed movie 
in yeah. the last 40 years. Like the marketing behind that movie, Jason Blum did like just a remarkable, remarkable job creating a fake website and backstory and, and the marketing behind it and selling it. Everyone thought it was real for so long. So I'm just curious to know, like when you watched it, like I, I didn't know it was a fake movie until I was probably like 23, 24 and actually went to look it up all that time. I just thought it was like a, fa- kind a of genuine like found footage movie. Wow. Kind of yeah. like your video of the Blair Witch Forest or something. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I loved that video. Thank awesome you. Awesome video. Thank you. Full commitment. I'm very proud. Um, <laughs> any other questions in regards to the, to the, to the paranormal? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just kind of still stuck on this dad thing. <laughs> Like, I feel like we could make a game out of that. Like, is my dad haunted or dumb? <laughs> Both. Demonic or dumb? Yeah, <laughs> demonic or dumb. Yeah, okay, so. so. when, um, after my boyfriend dumped me. Oh, uh, okay. I came home, at, came home after already being late for my full-time job. Uh-huh. I just walk into his office. He has a cowboy hat on. He has, <laughs> kind of like that one, yes. He has a dumb look like, like this. Typical dad. And his, like. And he had a shotgun. Like a uh, shotgun? Wait, yeah, a like shotgun. A 12 gauge? Yeah. And he's just holding it? Yeah. With that And he's face? just sitting in his office chair like this with the cowboy hat and dumb look like this. Okay. I okay, so your dad might be haunted then. <laughs> okay. Carry on. That's it? And wait, then, dude, wait, he just did that for the rest of the night. <laughs> he didn't he didn't move? He um Started pointing the gun at my ex-boyfriend who came over to tell my dad that everything was okay between us. <laughs> hold on, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. What? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Yo, this started about, this started from my TV turned off three times to my dad trying to murder my ex-boyfriend in front of me. He plays a Ouija board in a hospital, <laughs> lost his job. He didn't quit. Fuck that. He lost his job, got demoted to a pharmacy. He probably works at 7-Eleven now. He actually and- did work at a 7-Eleven. <laughs> I knew it! I'm so goddamn good at this! Not in Buffalo, in Seattle. Of course not. Even Buffalo's like, he's too fucking crazy for us. <laughs> no, my uncle's worse. Your uncle's worse? I have four hold on, uncles. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. We, I, hold on wait, Should okay. we get into this? I need a fucking notepad. There are. <laughs> I got so many questions right now. One, your boyfriend dumped you and then still took you home and said, Here, Papa, I'm sorry for breaking he your actually, daughter's heart. He actually dumped me over text. But then showed up to rub it in your face? What? No, actually, I actually applaud him for um, what he did. He dumped me over text, but asked me if we could meet up to talk everything over. That should have been the other way around. Do not applaud him. He's a bitch. That is so... (laughs) Don't applaud that. (laughs) What? (laughs) What? What? He did the hard part with his thumbs. He uh-huh. did the easy part face to face. He helped me back to his car after after I sprained my ankle. Oh. Who the fuck cares? We were two miles away Who from the, the car. Cares? Two miles away from the car. Two miles away though, Elton. But he broke up with you through a text message. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so tell me about your uncle. That's why your dad had the shotgun. Okay, so my tell uncle me and my about dad. Your uncle. <laughs> My uncle and my dad grew up in California and Buffalo. My grandparents were divorced. Okay. At, when they were growing up. I can up, only so guess why. It's probably... Okay. They butted heads a lot. I'm just going to say that. Okay? okay. They butted heads. Okay. My uncle and my dad thought it would be a good idea to to do um stupid paranormal stuff in their grandmother's house. Mm. Okay, so your dad is haunted. <laughs> this is why the TV was turning on and off and your cat was hissing. Your yeah. dad had to, so your dad was doing paranormal stuff when he was growing up. Okay, now you definitely need to, oh, you owe your dad an apology for calling him dumb. You need to say my dad is demonic. Well, he is a mutant. He doesn't have his wisdom teeth. He never had his wisdom teeth. Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> Wait, Wait where did that so come you know, into play? <laughs> what? So, you know how you're born with wisdom teeth, right? And they don't come in until a certain age? Yes. So that's why he's dumb, because he didn't get his wisdom teeth? No. <laughs> that's a, that's no, a no. joke I have with him. He wasn't born with wisdom teeth. Okay. I only have three wisdom teeth. You are usually born with four wisdom teeth. Okay. Yeah. He never had his. I only had three. He did stupid stuff with paranormal growing up. Uh-huh. Okay. So he's demonic and he's a mutant. Oh, you're a mutant. A mutant. Oh, okay, mutant. I thought okay. you were saying people that weren't born with like wisdom teeth have a gift. <laughs> I thought that's where you're gonna get like. No, that's he not never my dad. had his wisdom the teeth, so he's a he medium. Has is making the TV work when the power goes out. This this might and be my favorite spiders. paranormal like story so far. 
<laughs> I don't know what else to ask, dude. <laughs> okay, like, so my aunt, my uncle, I guess and my I don't dad. need to. I guess I don't need to. Okay. <laughs> Wait, my, she's talking about her aunt. Okay. Her no, aunt. I said my uncle and my dad. Oh, okay, oh okay. okay. Your uncle and your dad. Yes. You're the only aunt I have. Oh, thank you. So wait, what what did they do like growing up though? Was it just Ouija boards? Was they it- did Ouija boards. They um actually walked in on um a s- sacrifice happening in the mountains. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, tell us more about the sacrifice. I don't know because they don't like talking that about that a lot. Because every time the topic comes uh, comes up, my grandma's in the room. And <laughs> why don't they just walk away from grandmother? You don't walk away from my grandma. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's okay. where they got their powers. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma's a doctor. She can order someone to kill me. <laughs> okay. Wait, no, no, no. Your grandmother's not a doctor. She's an assassin. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Doctors don't order other people to kill you? Actually, they can. They can order a nurse to kill you. What the fuck? No, they can't. <laughs> yeah, assisted assisted suicide. You Someone's need- assisted you in suicide. No, what? No, you what the fuck? Yeah, no. And I they can like- make it look no. like an accident. Okay. No, someone's <laughs> lying to you. No. I feel like this is a conversation we're all gonna like get shot for knowing <laughs> this information. Someone has to sign paperwork that uh, someone with the power of attorney has to have the ability to sign that paperwork. A nurse can't just go like, you know what, Susie, you didn't finish your mush and now you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> like it doesn't <laughs> what? Well, we don't know. <laughs> what hospital True. does your grandmother work at? Because she shouldn't it's be there anymore. Pr- <laughs> she's, um, a family she's, practice? Yeah. No way! <laughs> no, she's only made that joke like once or twice, but she's never made... I worked at the... Um, Wait, where did your grandma grow up? Because I know we've been to quite a few haunted California. hospitals. California. California. Yeah. We've been to quite like Crescent Hotel used to have like a doctor that would go in there I to love cure that people. I love no that No wonder because that's your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. I had someone, I had a family member on the Titanic though. Dude. <laughs> Not no, at a hospital. Dude. Not what? at a hospital. This is my favorite <laughs> ghost story so far this whole tour. <laughs> but uh, my uncle and my dad, they, um... They did stuff. They did um, Ouija boards in my grandma, my great grandma's house. Okay. They walked in on a sacrifice in yep. the mountains. Yep. Your mom was rose on the Titanic. Um, the funny thing is, the next day after they walked in on the seance or a sacrifice, um, they decided to um, pull each other down a giant hill in California on okay. a skateboard and a bike. Yep. And one of them cracked their head open after hitting a rock and hit the curb. Mm. And spent um, about two weeks in the hospital because of it. Do you think they cracked their head open because something from the sacrifice followed them? Or oh, yeah. it was because they went down a dirt hill on a skateboard and ran into a rock? <laughs> Probably both, in a way. I've done worse. Honestly. Okay, so wait, let me ask about the your pet, right? You heard, you, heard, you heard your pet walking in the house, right? Yep. How That's many Abby. days did that happen for? Two months, like every other week. Wow. After she passed away. I was in seventh grade and I was 13. Wow. Okay. I need to recap everything that just happened. There's a lot. Hi. So we started with, <laughs> you were watching the Blair Witch uh, Project <laughs> during a storm at your house. Your TV went out three times. You said your mother threatened to kill you, send you into hell, and then out into outer space. You called your dad a fucking dipshit and denied no, that he was demonic. No, you no, called I did him not dumb. Call him you dad. said he was dumb. You said he was, he dumb. was dumb. You said he was dumb. You and said I he was dumb. You for it. Okay, you said he was dumb, and then you refused to acknowledge that he was haunted until you. And I'm yeah. getting there, sir. I will fucking recap this. <laughs> there is a lot to go on here. Okay, and then from there, you said that you're casually your dad just used to play a Ouija board in a hospital until he got fired, worked at a pharmacy, ended up working at 7-Eleven because every fucking one with medicine was like, I can't trust you. Turns out your grandmother no. used to put out hits on people and try and get them murdered in the hospital. No, she only you're- made those jokes with my family. Yeah. Of course, not, the people not that, the people she can trust, not the people she's going to kill. Got it. No. Then you have no, your, your dad grandma, and your uncle. Smart. Then she your dad that and your uncle walked in on a sacrifice in the mountains, and then they burned Ouija boards, and they roll down a hill and crack their head open, and your cat walks around at your house. At, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That. Well. Wow. Well. Thank you for thank that you. roller coaster. Seriously. We appreciate <laughs> thank you. Right. Right. I had a messed up childhood. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it was, it was an awesome childhood. Thank you for sure. That was a good story. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to read. What is everyone so... Oh, the spider. 
Bro, it's right above you. Okay. It's, it's a spider. Let it live. Why are you guys trying to murder babies and spiders? Let them live their lives. Let the spiders live. Let the spiders live. They will not mess with you, if you unless you mess with them. I will cry if the spider lands like on your head. I will eat it. All right. Last story of the evening. And then we'll bring them on stage. And then we will do a Q&A at the end, which will be drawn at random from these flowers. This starts off uh, very strong. I have stories for days about the stuff that happened in my childhood home. So my dad was on the roof wearing a monkey hat. <laughs> I forgot about that part. I totally <laughs> forgot about the monkey dance on the roof. The first experience I had that also made me believe was whenever I was around seven years old. I woke up to my basketball being bounced in the center of my room. Whenever I turned over to look at it, I saw a shadow bolt out of my room and into the hallway. From that point on, I slept with my door closed and locked. I would constantly wake up with scratches in that house. I would hear footsteps whenever no one else was home. All of my childhood friends also had experiences there. One of the most memorable for me was whenever I had a group of friends over and we were all sitting around just hanging out. Then one of our cell phones that were sitting on the table was thrown at me. It hit me so hard, it fractured my collarbone. We were sitting in the room that we thought was the most haunted and acting like the guys from Ghost Adventures. Whenever we caught an EVB saying, get out, which I still do have. The activity has followed me throughout my whole life too. I moved out of that house years and years ago, but things are still happening to me. Since my fiance has moved in, activity has also picked up a ton. We are pretty sure he brought something that he calls Little Butty from his house. Things will go missing, then show up weeks later. We had a shelf full of books get thrown off the shelf. I also think a lot of it is my grandma and grandpa. One night when we were sitting there watching TV, I suddenly smelt my grandma's perfume. Then I watched a white figure pass in front of Jake and it looked like it touched his face. Then it was gone in the blink of an eye. I truly believe that my grandma, that was my grandma letting me know she is still around and is watching over me and approves of Jake, who I'm assuming is a boyfriend. She never got to meet him. She passed whenever I was around 12 years old. Now that's just the positive things that have happened here, LOL. We have also heard growls come from one specific hallway, heard breathing in the same spot, and we sometimes think we see a dark shadow figure as well. Whenever I was typing my story for the Hillview Manor show, okay, I was talking about a not so great experience I had there and a candle fully exploded right next to me. Anyway, I could keep going for hours, but I think I'll end it here. Wow. So to recap, phone was thrown so hard it fractured a collarbone. Her boyfriend brought a demon into her home called Little Butty and a candle exploded when trying to write about a paranormal experience. Wow. Okay, Hope, are you here? Oh, come on up. Get up here, Hope. Come on up here, Hope. Give it up, y'all. And I'm assuming that, I'm assuming that's Jake. Okay, here. Okay, so first off, did a phone get thrown at your face or just one of your friends refused to tell you the truth <laughs> for decades and decades and decades? We kind of all had our phones sitting on the table, so we were all just hanging out. I think we were watching a movie or something. None of us were on our phones or anything like that, and we all watched the phone get thrown. No one was near it at all. And it fractured my collarbone. I had to go to the ER and like get it checked out and everything. Okay, what? Can, like legitimately, can you talk to me about the tra the trajectory here? Like, were you did it slide across the table and hit you, or did it actually like? No, like it fully like flew up. So the table was probably if we're sitting on the couch, the table probably was a little bit below my knees, I would say, and it fully flew upwards and hit my collarbone. What? That yeah, and like all of us saw it too. So I have like witnesses to this happening as well. And I'm assuming you also have x-rays. In probably, order to find out you have a fracture, yeah. you should have I don't know if I'd be able to get them. Right. But, but you yes. literally had to yeah. go to a doctor, get x-rays and they went, yep. "Hey, did you I had, like had to wear a sling and everything for a while?" Yeah. Okay, what were you doing? We were literally just watching movies. Okay, let's. What were you really doing? <laughs> no, like actually, we were just watching a movie. We might have been watching something like scary, but we were just watching a movie. So what happened before that? Nothing. And, you know, any no Ouija boards, no so, seances, no. Look, so, we're gonna get to the truth eventually. <laughs> let's just make it easier for everyone. Well, I have had experiences since I was like seven years old. I would say one day, me and my cousin, we did decide that we wanted to know more about 
the spirits that we assumed were in the house. So we did use a Ouija board at one point, but there was a lot happening before that as well. I can't mm-hmm. remember if the foam being thrown happened before or after the Ouija board. I do want to say it happened after the Ouija board, though. So, so we did just ask you if you did anything before, and you said no. Well, listen, and then you went back I wasn't and positive. said positive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but no, like uh, when we did the Ouija board, we learned that there are two spirits. There was an older woman named Catherine, and then there was a younger child that we weren't sure of her age or anything like that but we just know she was a younger child hey, if you had to take a guess which one do you think is the one that's... Catherine, the old lady 100 percent. why because um, you know that which means you know a lot about her which yes. means you communicated with her a lot yes. which means maybe you did do something i i didn't like actually do it the ouija board was the worst thing i did okay but we would so me and my friends were all really into ghost stuff i've always been into paranormal stuff since i was really little Um, We loved ghost adventures. That was our favorite thing to watch. Mm. So we would like go into the room that we thought was the most haunted room and like sit there and act like the guys from ghost adventures and try to get responses. You would antagonize. Is that correct? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Uh, So we're getting down to what actually happened. (laughs) Here we go. I do have the EVP still on my phone if you want me to play it of the thing. And this is from what age? The EVP? It's 11 years ago. Okay. Oh, yeah. Shit. So it's very old. We were just recording it on my phone and I've kept it on my phone ever since because it is one of the craziest things that I have ever heard. Okay. And then you're antagonizing, which means you are antagonizing. What was the name yes. of the, the Catherine? You were antagonizing Catherine. Yes. And how would you antagonize Catherine? In the voice memo, you can literally hear my friend saying, and we don't believe it until we see or hear it. And then immediately after we got the EVP. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do anything. The phone just flew at us. It was completely unprovoked. <laughs> Nothing happened. It- what the fuck? <laughs> Wow. Listen, I don't know the order of events. I don't know if the apparently we do now. Apparently, after, though, dude, but that's, can, can we hear? Can you pull up the? Can you pull yeah. up the record? Uh, that that's poltergeist activity. Like that's a demon. Yeah, that, you, or just a, a a lady that's just been trying to live her life and just being antagonized <laughs> the entire time. She's well, like, I'm tired of these kids. She was a bitch from when I was little, though. So Damn. <laughs> How do you I know you're not the reason? I we, mean, fair, fair. <laughs> so she's like, these kids are no damn cell phones. <laughs> Okay, here. All right, look, can I, can I, that, that works actually. Yeah, go ahead. You can okay. do that. Do it that way. So it's directly after she says, and we don't believe it until we see or hear it. Okay. No one can hear that, right? No, okay. All so right. Quiet. No one can hear that. It's, it's uh, too quiet. All right. We'll have to just take your word for it. Okay. Yeah. So carrying on, your friends were antagonizing an old lady. Yes. <laughs> like when I say I could literally talk about the experiences from that house for days, I mean four days. I would wake up with scratches on me. I would hear people walking up and down the stairs constantly. Um, I would sometimes hear someone talking upstairs when there was no one home. Uh, My friend and I, we were sitting on the floor one night playing a game on the TV and right in between us, there was a really loud bang, like someone like jumped in the middle of us. I, yeah, there's stories for days. And then the house that I live with Jake in now, it's mainly been good stuff. I don't think that like anything from that house has followed me there, but we think that someone from his house followed us to where we are now. And that's little buddy. He likes to take things and hide them and we won't find them for weeks. And then they just appear like on the couch right in front of us. Can, can we moderately backtrack a little bit? Cause I feel like there's yes. actually an important thing to talk about here, oh, which gosh. I'm really, really <laughs> curious about. How many years did you follow the pathway and the guidance of ghost adventures with antagonizing. How many years did you do that for? I want to say after the get out EVP and all of that, we stopped. We were like, I'm not messing with that anymore. Like, no. But how many years prior? Like how many years were you antagonizing for? I was in that house from the age of, I think six or seven until I was 15, I want to say. And probably up until I was... 13, 14, we were doing that. So So at least seven years. Seven years of antagonizing. Yep. (laughs) And you get that kind of activity and you still still have things happen afterwards. Yep. Do you, again, I'm not like, but do you feel as though you are responsible for the things that have happened based on the interactions that you had? (laughs) What'd you say? (laughs) Damn right she is from the boyfriend. (laughs) 
Like, so yes. What, do you agree? Like, do you well, feel that? Yes and no, because again, I wasn't kidding when I said she was a bitch from the start. Like right as I moved in there, I was waking up with scratches on me whenever I was seven years old, before I knew anything, before I even knew ghost adventures existed. It was happening from the start. I think we just made it a little bit worse and that's when it picked up and the phone got thrown and we got that EVP telling us to get out and all of that. So I definitely think it made it worse, but I don't think that I like caused anything to happen. It was also a very, very old house. So I think mm. that the spirits were there whenever we got That's there. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah, it was very old. Did you hear anything about the previous owners? Like, did someone die there? Nope, or? nothing. We nothing. have no idea about the previous owners. Someone else lives there now, and I've always wanted to go and, like, knock on the door and be like, hey, <laughs> anything happen to you? You should do it. You should do that. I want to. It'll want, uh, minimum scares the living shit out of them. Fair. If you were to do yeah. that. Yeah. Wear the Annabelle dress that Corey has. Oh, my God. And just <laughs> knock on their door. <laughs> and then at our new house, uh... This stuff with little buddy and then like i said with my grandma and grandpa they'll just do like random stuff to let me know that they're there as well but then we have some sort of bad spirit we're not really sure i've tried getting rid of it saging the house all of that sort of stuff and stuff just continues to happen there uh just recently my cat that i have he likes to chew on the railing in the basement and it's a very distinct sound I heard that sound while I was watching TV one night and he was sleeping on the couch next to me. So don't know what that was, but. Why are you looking at me, dude? That's terrifying. <laughs> it sounds yeah. like a demon's just chewing on the staircase. Yeah. He, and he's then, just teething, dude. He's, just, he's a, baby, a baby It's a baby demon. demon <laughs> and he's just, he's just teething. Yeah, it's Aww. fine. Nothing to be a, worried about. He needs a little pacifier, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's all good. Wait, so tell, tell me about this. What, what is it? The buddy? Little demon? buddy. Little buddy? Yeah. How, how, how did little buddy happen? Well, it started at his house that he grew up in. In Did you antagonize? Did your dad antagonize? Wait, does your dad know her dad? <laughs> 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 You're the uncle. Your dad's... <laughs> <laughs> but they would always just have stuff go missing. Uh, What was it? Like your iPod or something? Yeah. Yeah, here, just come up here. Just come up here and grab the mic. Jake, right? Yeah. Give it up for Jake, y'all. I'll take that for you. Thank you. So this is like iPod like Is three, it tickling four. your mustache? Is it tickling your mustache? iPod 3, 4, <laughs> kind of like time, like 2007, 8, 9, somewhere around there. I have worse memory than her. And I was, this thing was in my hand constantly. All the free games, Angry Birds, all that. Dude, great game. So addicting. I left it on my pillow and I went into the kitchen to uh, go grab like a snack. I think it was Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its. And I come back down the hall, not there at all. Parents aren't home. I was home alone a lot as a child. And about a week passes, and I'm just like sick of it. Like, I just want my iPod back. Like, why? Where is it? Ah, go back down the hall, get Cheez Its, come back, <laughs> sitting on the pillow. What? I moved the entire bed. And this isn't the first time it's happened. Me and my dad were watching TV. Couldn't find the remote. Went down the hall, came back, remote was gone. Should have been sitting on a towel. Picked it up, moved it. Put it down, went back down the hall, thought maybe we brought it with us, came back, I was sitting on the towel. It's stuff like my parents would find stuff up in the attic that you have to pull down, like clothing and stuff. Oh, weird. So and you, and you blame it on your father, you said? Yeah, he said it's been following around since he was a kid. Okay, what did your father do as a kid? <laughs> he, he, he loves ghosts and shit like that, so he probably antagonized. But he said since I moved out about two years ago, nothing's gone missing at all. Mm. So he thinks it followed me. And has stuff gone missing a lot in the new apartments? Oh, yeah. All Close. the time. Clothes, yeah. Yeah. Have you, you guys put up security cameras? No, I'm too scared to because I don't <laughs> want to see what... I don't want to see it. Why I not? I just act like it doesn't exist. What? You could have an amazing YouTube... Oh, exactly. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you could have stayed. If I, if I buy you security cameras and you don't even look at the footage, can you just put them up so I can see? Sure. Okay, that sounded really weird. Uh, <laughs> I yeah. didn't even think of it. Put them in the way. common areas. The common areas, like yes, the kitchen. Yeah. And the yeah. <laughs> I just, I mean, if you can get video evidence yeah. of items just moving. Yeah. I guarantee there'd be other stuff that would show up on there as well what, with what all the stuff we have here. I'm too scared. <laughs> You're broke? Yeah. That all too. right. I'll buy you the yeah. cameras. I don't know. <laughs> Again, with my grandma, like, I fully saw a white figure walk up and touch the side of his face and then just gone. And uh, in our upstairs hallway, we'll sometimes like catch a glimpse of a black shadow figure at the end of our hallway. Neither of us like the hallway. We keep the light on constantly. It just bad vibes about it. We don't know what happened in that house beforehand. 
Uh, it's just like a rental unit. So we're not sure if maybe the people there did something or if it followed us from either of our houses or what. But mm. So you both were haunted as children. Yes. <laughs> and now both of your childhood demons live together. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are in like New Girl, but like a really weird version of it. <laughs> we love that show. <laughs> okay. Have you ever felt as though the attachment to you and the attachment to you have intertwined? I mean, like, are they competing for space? You've never been physically hurt. I have been. <laughs> I was scratched a lot and stuff. I had my hair pulled at the house I was growing up in as well. I was sitting on the couch by myself. No one was home. And it was like someone grabbed a chunk of my hair and pulled. Like my neck went with it and everything. And have you ever gone to anyone to try and figure out who or what it might be? Nope. Because I, for a long time when I was living in that house, especially, I didn't know like who to go to or anything like that. So, and by the time I was old enough to know that stuff, I was moved out of that house, so. Wow, interesting. Have you ever investigated, where do you guys live together? Yes. Have you ever, a uh, house, your apartment, whatever? Yeah, actually, we use, we don't have many tools. We have a K2, and then we uh, use this app on my phone that we actually used at Hillview and got some crazy responses with. Cool. So we figured it was, you know, reliable, and yeah. we got some weird answers. I think that the one night we definitely did talk to my grandpa for sure, like the stuff that he was saying was just so fitting. So we've tried. Uh, I don't think we've, uh, like, had any conversations or anything with the bad spirits. It's only been my grandpa or grandma that comes through whenever we try to talk. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. that's a plus. That's good. Well, I think you guys should get cameras, uh, create a YouTube channel, like about like kind of like a new girl, you know what I <laughs> mean? Like a happy couple with two young demon children. You know what I mean? Yeah, new, new ghost. Yeah, there you go. That's a good name. I mean, honestly, if you can yeah. capture that kind of evidence, as yeah. someone who grew up watching Ghost Adventures and I assume you watch Overnight and you watch other yes. ghost <laughs> channels, like why not contribute? Yeah. To the paranormal investigation field. Yeah. That's you know I mean? not a bad idea. It's just, again, like he said, we're so broke. Set so. up your iPhone on a time lapse. I mean, yeah, yeah. Solutions. But Look at then, that. Then we won't catch anything. That's always how it is. Right as you pull out your mm -hmm. phone, it's gone. Yep. All right. Well, then you'll, if that's the case, then all you have to do is put a phone on time lapse and you'll never be haunted again. I mean, your shit won't go missing anymore. <laughs> yeah. So another solution. Perfect there we solution. Go. <laughs> yeah. Not a bad idea. Well, thank you for sharing. Yeah. I appreciate thank it. You. Give a round of applause thank for you hope, guys. everyone. Hey, can you guys turn it down? Hey. Do you guys believe in ghosts? He called me a hoe. I think he said land ho. <laughs> oh, oh. Everyone say hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. Yo, someone's name on that boat is Billy. He's like, what the fuck? A hundred, dude. A hundred percent someone's name's Billy on right. that boat. What piqued your interest in the paranormal? Peaked. Ooh. Peaked, not began. What piqued your interest? Because mm. began would be your childhood, but what piqued it? He said to me numerous times, way outside of videos, that he could never see himself going the rest of his life without doing paranormal investigations. So he is at a point in his life that I can vouch for that I feel like if he went more than like four months without doing a paranormal investigation, he would feel a little weird. So I what guess, piqued it? I guess it's investigating with you. Oh, thanks, dude. Like... Aww. So every so hear that hear that every time you're like Elton's a fucking asshole. Elton's an asshole. <laughs> He's such a piece of shit. He fucking bullies Corey. Here he is. Look, he loves it. <laughs> no, dude, and I know you love it too. I can you love investigating. I do too. love tormenting. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I, d I definitely think it's like investigating with you, like because not only you know is it a lot of fun and it's you know super cool to be getting all this evidence and you know we're learning so much more about it, but it's like. You know, like you are my best friend. Aww. I don't think you've ever said that. Shut up. No, I'm being honest. I've definitely Dude, said no, that. Dude, no, I actually don't think you've ever said that. All right, well, I don't get deep a lot. You know what I'm saying? I, I keep. Oh. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Insecurity. Damn, I got to meet his mom today and here I'm his best friend. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yeah, bro, you just, it's, it's a lot of fun. And I, I honestly, I couldn't imagine like not living the life that I'm living right now. Like it would, it would just feel weird to not be constantly traveling with you and like always having fun and filming and ghost hunting together. And then I'll, I'll reciprocate that answer because I feel like what piqued my interest in the paranormal was his love and compassion and respect for it because I came into it as just like, this will be fun. Abandoned places looks cool. Let's make something cool. Who the fuck knows? It's probably not real. Let's have some fun. 
And then when we capture things and I see this like extreme level of sincerity in him where he's like tearing up when he's like, he has his little box with a couple lights in his hand and he's holding a ghost girls and he's fucking crying. And I'm like, Oh, like this is like genuinely real. Like in your, you know what I mean? In your perspective and that. Yeah, altered, I, Cause I know you're a little skeptic. You're yeah, a little and, skeptic. But that altered my perspective on things, seeing how constantly scared you would get like there was a genuine fear like sometimes you know you hype things up for youtube right it's it's part of it it's, it's kind of boring if everyone's just like mur, mur, mur. like you need someone to be like elton no like you have to have <laughs> that like you need you need you need that element so you're using me you're using my fear to make the videos better yeah <laughs> my best friend <laughs> <laughs> but but at the same time, like I match you and I go out and buy all the best tools I can find. And I look up all the best like techniques and modalities and I'm the one who found Patty and I'm the one who found Linda and I found a Kelta and I find all these people to help protect you and keep you safe at the same time that I torture you. So you know what I mean? I give you wounds and I bandage them. It's fine. <laughs> You're kind of like my ghost hunting sugar daddy. <laughs> No, dude, I'm your ghost mom. Literally, I'm like your mother. I'm like buying with you whatever toys you want. And Aww. I take you to the summer camp with you Patty. You take me to Paris. Yeah, I just, wow. I, I We've did, learned a lot tonight. Yeah. That's so, hilarious. Yeah, and that's, and that's the balance. That's the balance. I honestly think his reaction to evidence that we've captured is what piqued my interest and made me want to push a little bit harder. Um, in the more like serious side of things as opposed to just like, let's cut my thumb and put blood on a Ouija board. Versus yeah. like, let's get the best yeah. devices we can, talk to the best people we can, even off camera. Like we reach out to people and ask them techniques and help and things like that. So mm -hmm. from, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for coming out tonight. Thank Seriously. you for supporting the channel, uh, being here. Yep. Marty wants us to do a big group photo. So for everyone that wants to take pictures of us, we'll take pictures of everyone. Uh, thanks again for dealing with the location switch.